Hello world, welcome. This is the news bulletin on Kashimawo TV. I'm your host Christy. Thanks for joining us. On the news bulletin, Senator Apiemi Bami Daly from Ekiti Central Senatorial District has described as a civilian coup. Claims made by Senator Abdul Mingi that the 2024 budget passed by the Senate was padded. A furious Senator Bami Daly, who is also the majority leader of the Red Chamber, alleged that Senator Abdul Ningi, who represents Bauchi Central Senatorial District, attempted to unseat Senate President Godswill Okparbio by allegedly inciting the Northern Senators Forum which he led against Senator Okparbio, a Southern Senator, who took over from Ahmad Lawan. This is what he had to say. Chairman, for the very first time, I stand up to speak not as the leader of the 10th Senate, but as Senator Michael Okwemi Bamidele, CON, representing the people of Ekiti Central Central District. Four quick issues to raise. Number one, number one, I stand with due respect to say that what my big brother Distinguished Senator Abdul Ningi, who I respect so well, planned to do or set out to do was tantamount to a civilian coup, which has failed. And in doing this, he wanted to use the platform of Northern Senators Forum. God bless all those who have dissociated themselves as members of Northern Senators Forum. Number two, I pay glowing tribute to His Excellency Senator Tambua, Aminu Wasir Tambua, and to His Excellency Senator Ahmad Lawa. Why am I doing this? They had very peaceful tenure. And I was one of those instrumental. I'm also speaking as a Southerner for the first time. The attempt to take the election of the leadership of this Senate beyond June 13, 2023, must stop. 60 something senators voted for Godswill Akpabio. 40-something senators voted against Godwin Akpabio, the will of the majority. Every day, there have been a few, just a few, and that's one of the reasons I will pay tribute to Senator Tambua. He didn't pretend by where he stood. But after that, some of them got up on the floor of this Senate and said, election is over. Let's work together as senators of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. A few have refused to do this. And that's why it's always about Akpabio, never about the Senate, never about the House of Reps, never about the Office of DG Budget. All of us passed this budget. Never about Mr. President who signed this budget. It's always about Akpabio. We have a momentum. This is a defining moment for all of us to say, if we're going to have a stable Senate, let us have one. It is not about North and South. It's about our rules. It's about the Constitution of the, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's about our people who are hungry and deprived. Mr. President, sitting as chair, make no mistake about it. A few people who feel they will not give you more than one year to spend in this chair want to do everything possible before the 13th of June to remove you. And I am telling you, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues, distinguished, distinguished colleagues, and that's why I say I'm speaking as Senator Michael Okpemibamidele, not as the Senate leader. As the Senate leader, I've always done everything possible to stabilize the Senate. I'm speaking, I'm exercising my own privilege as a senator. Now I am telling you, sir, I am telling you, sir, and I want Nigerians to know, I say it for history. The last time the people of South South that you represent had a chance to be Senate President was over 40 years ago.
The last time the entire people of the South had a chance to be sent a president was during Obasanjo regime when he went to the Southeast. Five people were elected because they were impeached in quick succession. But as soon as he left the South, we had peace and stability again because we will always cooperate. David Marx spent eight years. Senator Amalawa spent four years. Peaceful four years. Saraki, even with all he did, spent four years. He was not in peace. It is about Pabio. It is about the South. You cannot understand why Senator Ningi, we want to use the name of Northern Senators Forum, even when most of them did not agree to this. Mr. President, I plead with you. This is an opportunity for us to follow our rules. If tomorrow the wisdom of the elders of this Senate prevail and they feel we should do otherwise, let's lock ourselves up in a closed door session and take a, another decision and go back to the world and recede our, ourselves on whatever decision we take today. I beg all of you. We must do the right thing today. We did not start this fight. Senator Ningi took this to the public domain. Standing up to apologize here, even after he repeated that some people got 100 billion from this, this, this budget, some people got 60 billion. Haba, what, what apology are you expecting? Let us do the right thing, and I am saying it as part of the leadership of this Senate. I am not bothered. I, I was going to online, but, uh, just as this is going on, it's trending now, that every senator got 500 million. My appeal to Nigerians is not about what was said there today, because I'm not going to deny that. But we have 12 months to implement 2024 budget. Let every Nigerian wait to see whether there is any of these senators who will not bring enough boreholes, enough solar street light, enough road construction, and other projects, training and empowerment, that will be up to 500 million uh, naira. That is it. I am not protesting. If I got anything here, it is not money put in my pocket. They are constituency projects given to my constituency. And I'm not apologetic about it. Mr. President, please let us go into the prayers and do the right thing. Last June, Akparbio, a former Akwebom governor, was returned elected as president of the 10th Senate after scoring 63 votes, defeating Yari, who scored 46 votes. Now that will be all for our viewers and listeners on the news bulletin. Get social with us, subscribe to this channel, Kashimawo TV. I'm Christy. Thanks for sticking around.